The European Union saw a consensus on its 13th package of sanctions related to the Russia-Ukraine war. Now, this time, it's also set to impose its first sanctions on North Korea related to the conflict. Our An Song Jin brings us the latest. The European Union is to impose its first sanctions on North Korea in relation to the Ukraine-Russia war. The Belgian government, which currently holds the rotating EU presidency, announced on X, formerly Twitter, that the 27 EU members approved a 13th package of Ukraine-related sanctions against Russia on Wednesday. It added that it will be one of the most extensive sanctions packages approved by the EU. France 24 stated that the North Korean defense minister and a North Korean firm are reportedly to be added to the sanctions list for supporting the Russian military. Those on the list will be banned from traveling to the EU or doing business there. The EU has previously imposed sanctions on high-ranking North Korean officials for human rights violations and violations of UN Security Council resolutions, but this will be the first time regarding the war in Ukraine. North Korea has reportedly supplied munitions to Russia against Ukraine in return for satellite technology. At least 24 ballistic missiles of allegedly North Korean origin were used during Russia's missile attacks on the territory of Ukraine. The new listings will add 193 entities and individuals, mostly for helping Moscow procure weapons or for their involvement in kidnapping Ukrainian children. More details will be released after the package is officially approved on February 24th, which is the second anniversary of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Including the most recent sanctions, the EU sanction list over Russian aggression in Ukraine will have more than 2,000 individuals and entities. An Songjin, Arirang News.